dystopian times. QAnon-loving pastor running for Congress accused of Satanism by a QAnon. I mean, is this not the best headline ever? He's also been accused of child sex trafficking after posting a photo of his own daughter at a campaign event. And I just want to um, I, I want to reiterate that point. This is why they're saying he is a Satanist, because he posted a picture of his daughter on Facebook. <laughs> When you run around with uh, these people, associate with crazy people, you get crazy outcomes, shockingly. So I want to read a little bit of this story because this might be my favorite story of the week. So a Tulsa pastor trying to unseat Senator James Lankford, whose campaign has openly embraced QAnon followers, is now denying accusations of Satanism and child sex trafficking leveled at him by QAnon followers. I just like the sentence, denying accusations of Satanism. American <laughs> politics in 2021, folks. Um, and by the way, James Langford, the reason why he's running against him is because he's a rhino. He's not far right enough, as oh. if there are any Republicans who aren't far right in Congress. But um, evangelical pastor Jackson LeMayer, who has in recent months appeared at conspiracy conferences with the likes of Michael Flynn and Lynn Wood, who support a coup, by the way, uh, was forced to deny involvement in child sex trafficking, pedophilia, or devil worship after he posted a picture of his daughter on Facebook and QAnon supporters interpreted it as a sign of nefarious activity. Jesus Christ. Uh, devil worship. De yeah, right, right. I mean, because if you're going to post a picture of your child on Facebook, which I, I imagine most people do who have Facebook accounts, mm -hmm. you have to assume that they worship the devil. I mean, that's just... <laughs> common sense is it not folks that's where um, my mind goes <laughs> right i wonder what people think about cat and dog pictures because i don't really use social media that much but it's just dog and cat pictures does that make me like uh, lucifer worse like, I, I don't know if the, if there's any relation I, I was i was gonna say go, just really quickly go back to that picture of him because he's 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 uh of course denying worshiping satan and and uh being a sex trafficker and whatnot but i i, I don't know if i believe him he kind of has that glint in his eye of like i just drank a gallon of adrenochrome harvested from an asian baby i mean just he just has that look i'm just saying that is actually a really good point. If if I, I had to look envision, <laughs> yeah, if I had to envision someone who was like a Satan worshiping <laughs> child, like um, blood drinker, I mean, he has the face. He has the face. So perhaps I'm siding. Are we siding more with the QAnon people here, accusing him of, sa of Satanism? I, I, I think, think I am. You have to, yeah. Um, uh, you know, actually, well, I'm sorry. Is there is there more that you want to read of the uh, before we kind of dive into it, or you can dive in. There's a little bit okay. more, and there's a video of him that I'll watch. Um, that yeah. I'll, that I'll play for us. But um, long story short, I mean, there's not much substance here. Yeah. He is he is a QAnon supporter who uh, they've turned on him because he's a devil worshiper because he posted a picture of his daughter on Facebook. <laughs> Well, yes, and 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 uh, I, I the reason supposedly behind it is because she was wearing red shoes. I I, I actually uh, that, that, that picture oh. that they showed up there is actually like a close up. She she's she's in front. That that's a poster of him, and and in the full um, Instagram post, she's like under. She, she's she's like below that, and she's wearing like red Crocs. And she's she's tiny too. She's probably like three or four years old. So they think that this is like a satanic message, or this is some sort of message saying like, you know, I I I order um, kids and cannibalize them from from Pizza Hut. Um, and uh, and basically, like like what what, what I, I think I've come up with a way to sabotage QAnon. If that's true, if if like you know the red shoe thing is this 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 big thing, because what I did is that I looked up. Melania Trump red red shoes and sure enough there's just pages and pages of her wearing red pumps and um you know red red high heels and that might be the way that we can take them down but probably not using their own conspiracies against them that's actually really creative I love it I mean it, it the one thing is is that like you know there are already pictures of Trump hanging out and and video of him hanging out with uh what's his name Jeffrey, with Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein and stuff like that so uh they just find a way to like spin it or just ignore it but yeah it's But that's the whole thing about QAnon is like they they have this solid story right in front of them right in their hands and they're like right. yeah 
Mm-hmm. Nah. <laughs> like that's what's... this this guy. <laughs> yeah, that's what's so perplexing to me. It's like the big the big conspiracy is kind of like out in the open. Um, the conspiracy with uh, Jeffrey Epstein hanging out with Donald Trump. And he's been accused by multiple women of sexual yep. harassment, sexual assault. You would think that anyone who's really sensitive to to these things would stay clear away from Donald Trump. But they've kind of deified him to the point where it doesn't necessarily matter what you bring up about Donald Trump. They've already decided that he is is their savior. So they'll they'll work backwards from the conclusion that he's good. Um, I didn't know that, though, about the shoes being mm-hmm. like part of the reasoning. And yeah. it's weird how symbolism plays such a large role in all of these conspiracy theories. Like I'm thinking about Illuminati and how when I worked at Blockbuster dating myself, I'm, I'm a boomer, too. Um, I remember this guy came in and he was looking at a movie and there was a triangle or something like a triangle and an eye or something on the movie cover. And the movie might have been about conspiracy theories. But he told me like, oh, I won't watch that. And I'm like, why? And it, I didn't even know what Illuminati was. And he said, well, that movie is uh, glorifying the Illuminati. And I'm like, what the fuck is the Illuminati? And he like tried to explain it to me. And I'm like, oh, I see. You're, You're that in- shit fucking crazy. The whole idea of, of those things, I mean, like, it, it's just it's just funny to me if, if you really think about this universe where let, let, let's take it seriously for a second that like, you know, he he was like, okay, I've I've got to buy some red shoes to to uh, signal to to all my 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 fellow, um, you know, pizza gator. I don't know what um, uh, members of the Illuminati that 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 I, that, I, that you know, I, I'm one of you. Um, see, here's my kid wearing red Crocs. Fist bump. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's just it's really bizarre that people's minds work this way that they think that this is how reality is january 6th like they had already turned on mike pence who is like their blood leader Mm -hmm. so sometimes i think about like if i could just watch this group of like really really batshit crazy people turn (laughs) on all of themselves if i could just fast forward only that to just watch it i feel like someday it will happen that like I don't know, QAnon just like all gets in a room and like they're all wearing red shoes and something really weird happens. But mm-hmm. yeah, I, we might not honestly, have to plan it by then. No, I think that that's probably inevitable, right? I, I feel like these conspiracy theories, they always like it might start out as something, but then it slowly but surely evolves. And then the groups kind of factionalize because if I'm not mistaken, QAnon emerged out of pizzagate to an extent right Mm -hmm. Uh, not entirely i think it has roots in pizzagate and pizzagate has a lot of the same elements not that you know these are unusual conspiracy theories because they kind of follow all of the same characteristics but i mean there was a lot of symbolism in in pizzagate and they were going through like the wikileaks emails and they were looking for like these code words that suggest that there was some sort of a ring that was being run out of uh comet ping pong pizza and it was all based off of like oh well this person said uh, this word. They said uh, cheese pizza. So that means uh, that they're part of sex trafficking. It's just, and and part of it is, I was, I was reading something on this not too long ago. There's like this sort of, you, you feel uh, this exhilaration because you, you're, you have this sense that you're privy to this knowledge that nobody else knows mm-hmm. about and you want to share it with people. That's why conspiracy theories kind of like proselytize. And it's it's like that dopamine rush that they get. But it, unfortunately, it's not like looking at, um, I don't know, cat pictures or fucking playing video games. Like this is something that actually has real world consequences. And now the prevalence of QAnon, it's absurd to me because at first, I mean, I, I thought, wow, what a, what a really silly conspiracy theory. And now it's an international theory which I, I don't know how big it is internationally now that Trump is out of office, but it's just, it's so crazy to me. And um, I'm, I'm fascinated by it. Um, so we'll watch this video, um, unless you all, either of you wanted to add to it, but this is kind of like him, I don't know if he's uh, announcing his campaign or whatnot, but just so we get a sense of who we're dealing with here. Sure. A Satanist. A Satanist. <laughs> Definitely a Satanist. <laughs> that I, I, I think the QAnon people are spot on. <laughs> Our state is full of rhinos, and primary among them is a guy named James Langford. He's a rhino of the highest order. He knows it, I know it, and you know it. And we have to replace James Langford because if we don't replace him in this election cycle, 
He's going to be in office like Jim Inhofe for the next 30 something years, because right now, Langford has shown his true colors. We've seen things that most of us intrinsically knew, but he exposed himself because of the last year, 2020. Notice how he says he exposed himself. Lots of code words. I don't know if I'm reading too much into that. I just got to say, um, it really stands out to me that like he he calls out these Republican rhinos because they're not like to the right enough. Jim Inhofe is literally the guy who brought a snowball on the Senate floor and he thought that oh, he was disproving climate change. Oh, my guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So now who were the craziest Republicans are now not crazy enough scary i also yeah. just wanted to say his accent why does it sound rehearsed <laughs> like, i was gonna yeah i noticed that too it's like if i would try to sound southern and like every once in a while i would like slip and be totally like a northerner again <laughs> It's it's totally like scripted, and you know that he was fighting the urge so bad to not do like the thumb point as, as he was talking. <laughs> so to wrap this story up, I do want to read the response. Um, this yes. is what he posted on Facebook. Um, so there's after one, there's one sentence here that's hilarious, but go on, go on. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is in response to the allegations of Satanism. So he writes the ugly side of politics. Last week, I posted this pic of Eva out on the campaign trail with me, and she was so proud of her red shoes because it matched the colors of the Le Mayor for Senate gear. It was a harmless post, but there is an individual out there who has been spreading things about me that are not true, such as I am creation worshiper, a yeah, new world order. <laughs> <laughs> that threw me off a little bit. <laughs> I, there's, there's, there's two things there. There's like, obviously the, uh, uh, he, he left out a, or uh, you know, you know, a creation worshiper. But what is a, what, 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 is, what is a creation worshiper? Is that, is that a thing? Uh, Isn't that God? They believe in God. So uh, I, I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that honestly doesn't sound like Satan creation, it, unless they believe Satan created the world. But I feel like these evangelicals don't believe that. Um, also, he was accused of being a new world order globalist and more nonsensical stuff. Uh, a QAnon person is like, oh, you guys are crazy. Imagine that. Uh, this I, person, <laughs> go ahead. Just, just so you know, I look. I, I just looked up creation worshiper oh, on yeah. Google, and literally, I don't see any any like I don't see where he got it he mm. he must have I, I maybe i mean it's possible that the insane person who uh accused this insane person of being an insane person um like you know called him a creation worshiper and just you, yeah, maybe but it just it's it doesn't seem to be a thing is my point hmm. uh, i literally i feel like if somebody were a satanist i would have a whole lot less problems with them <laughs> that's like <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you know what, though? For him using the word uh, creation worshiper, that tells me that he is a phony and they were right to accuse him of Satanism because, oh, yeah. you know, he wants to be cool with the QAnon crowd, but he doesn't even have the lingo. I mean, if all of us who are not part of QAnon could acknowledge that this is like a little bit sus, um, yeah. I think they were right to accuse him of uh, Satanism. Love it. Uh, this person has also been spreading the narrative that I'm involved in child sex trafficking. I guess red shoes represent pedophilia, according to this individual. I mean, this is your people. This is what you believe, right? I've been in ministry for years, never any accusations whatsoever. Now, all of a sudden, I'm being accused of everything under the sun by one particular woman, and some people don't have enough discernment to determine right from wrong. Unfortunately, I have to say it because people are asking me. I'm in no way involved in child sex trafficking, pedophilia, or devil worship. If you believe that, it actually says more about you than it does me. I love that politicians now are having to um, speak out against accusations that they worship the devil. That to me is just, I love that element of the story. I also like as somebody who does comms, I have a lot of questions about if he's doing his own messaging because mm. I would never ever advise a candidate to be like, um, I am not a devil worshiper and child sex trafficker. Like, don't <laughs> don't start that rumor. You're the, you're saying the words now and putting it out there. Like, not everybody what? thinks that. That's a great point. Now what? they do. 